All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, who will be on time of this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the birds out there throughout the full corners of the earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. It's Brother Kazapa from GMS Raleigh, North Carolina. Come back with another quick lesson through the Spirit and Prayer, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And as you see on the screen, this is an article, okay? And it says, um, in New York City, furthest flung neighborhood, uh, Maxine, a tough sale. Okay, so you got our people, <laughs> in up there in New York, you know, in New York City, you know, there's a certain neighborhood that is, you know, that are not gonna end up taking it, man. Okay, and and it's just this kind of just uh sparked my interest in the spirit, you know. We're gonna talk about this, man. Okay, because our people, our people know what's up, man. Okay. A lot of our people are not stupid, man. Okay, they know that something is bigger going on, man. So, you know, the spirit, let's go read this article and we'll get some scriptures in the spirit. It says, If there's one place where people could fear the crown royal more than a jab needle, that that's the far rock away section of Queens. Nearly 400 residents of the seaside neighborhood have died of Crown Royal 19. It says that that's one out of every 146 people who live there. It says making for one of New York City's highest death rates and yet no other place in the city has a lower percentage of jabbed people. Okay, you know, so you have Jake, you know, Jake is more mainly in Queens, man. Okay, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, it says, as of Monday, only 29% of people living in far Rockaway Ways zip code 11691 had received even one jab dose according to the data from New York stuck like New York City Health Department that compares to the rate of 49% citywide and nationally see why cuz our people know a lot of those a lot of those jigs in that are in Queens and stuff anyway or a lot of Benjamin Judah and Levi, man, okay, you know, and a lot of them, you know, especially the older generation are from the islands, and they know that real medicine, okay, is from the earth, the herbs, man, okay, that's another thing, man, man, because the scriptures talk about that, man, how our medicine is from the earth, okay, let's see, let's see if we get that, let's see, hmm, I know it's here somewhere. Yep, here it is. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 47. And uh, in 12, it says, And by the river upon the bank thereof, and on the side, and on the this side, and, and on that side, shall grow all trees for meat, whose leaves shall not fade, neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed it shall bring forth new fruit according to his months because their waters they issued out of the of the sanctuary and the fruit thereof shall be for meat and the leaves thereof for medicine okay so so what you know so you got literally plants for medicines man okay let's see i know there's some um Another scripture. Let's see. Yep, here it is. Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, um, 38 and 4. It says, The Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Oshai, hath created medicines out of the earth. Out of the earth. Okay? Not out of science, out of the earth. Okay? And a, a lot of our people know this, man. Especially the, you know, the, 
you know, our people from the islands, man. Okay, you know, you know that of you know mainly uh Benjamin, uh Levi, you know you got Judah over there too, you know Simeon, Ephraim, you know, and in South America too with the Latin tribes, man. Right? Okay, and the Native Americans they know that what true medicines come out of the earth, okay, not out of a needle, man. Okay, it says. And he that is wise will not abhor them. What? So what? Those that are wise are not going to, what? Throw away the herbs, man. The true medicines of the earth, man. Okay? You know, that's why people are not um taking this joint, man. Okay? Taking a jab, man. Because a lot of them know that what? Especially with this thing going around the internet, you know? The new health benefits and stuff like that. That what? They're not taking this, man. Okay? It says what? Let's go back to the article. It says... It says the situation in the community around uh, 67,000 people illustrates the challenges facing health officials in many places as they try to overcome uh, hesitancy fueled by mistrust, misinformation, and fear. Well, no, you know they don't. It's not bad that they mistrust you. All right, this government you saw eating so called white man. Okay, all right, and it's not inf- misinformation. It's the truth. All right, you know. So and they should fear taking that man. Okay, because what they could end up dying, man. All right, because why the scriptures say this. Okay, yeah, they they have a mistrust, man. They should, because scripture says what. Let's get this. All right. It's the Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach 12 and 10. It says, never trust thine enemy. Okay. And yes, we have enemies. All right. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have enemies. Okay. You know, it says, never trust thine enemy. Like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Okay. So what? We're not supposed to trust this man whatsoever. Esau, you know, so-called white man. Matter of fact. Let's get a little bit more, okay? I want to, uh, let's see. Yeah, I want to jump down to verse 13. He says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come, come nigh wild beast? So one that goes to a sinner, which is Esau, Edom, so-called white man, it says, and is defiled with him in in his sins, who who will pity? So you want to go take this man jab, and then all of a sudden you got horrible side effects, man. Who's gonna pity you, man? Why? Because you trusted in your neighbor, and it's like you, you trusted in your enemy, okay? Who's making himself seem like he's your neighbor, but he's not, okay? You know, he's not. It says, for a while he will abide with thee. So yeah, he might be close to you and everything, but guess what's gonna happen? He says. But if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. It says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. Yeah, we're going to get you all good, all jabbed up. You'll be good. You'll be able to go to work. Matter of fact, we'll put you in a lottery. Those smooth words, right? It says, but in his heart, I mean, that mind, the Hebrew word for heart is lob, which means your mind. It says, it says he, he imagineth how to overthrow thee into a pit. All right, how to throw you into a pit, how to cast you down, how to pitch you in a grave, man, you know, put you in a ditch. It says he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Okay, so what this man wants your life. Okay, he's going to fit cry on, on your deathbed, but he wanted your life out in the whole time, man. Okay, he wanted to kill you, man. And that's what they said. They said they're trying to get overcome. Uh, you know, your hesitancy, hesitancy, man, okay, by what, promoting stuff, man, okay, you know, they're doing uh, school rallies, man, for it, man, matter of fact, when you go into AP News, one of the headlines is, uh, yep, right there, schools try pet rallies, pet rally tactics to get students jabbed, see, so, <laughs> so look, man, it's mainly what, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. Look at that, man. Come on now. You can see Jake's, man. You 
you know? So hopefully, you know, this is, you know, showing you that, look, our people have a clue and stuff, but our people are still going to take the um this ultimately when Esau Edom comes down with great wrath, as the scriptures say, and, you know, Revelation 12 and 12. So, you know, our people will go full because they don't trust in your help by Shema Oshai, but we do, and we know that the Lord is going to provide for us in that day, man, no matter what, okay? You know? So we're not worried about nothing. So with that, I hope this is edifying to the elected nation. So we'll just give a quick update of what Esau is trying to do. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Keep on praying. Keep on trusting in your help. I should be shy. Don't lean into your own understanding. And the Lord will direct you in all your paths. So with that, let it give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim of Karkadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to the elected nation of Israel. Until next time, to the elect, I say shalom.